I'll, I'll keep it anonymous. Uh, but a friend of mine works for a company uh, that, uh, you know, um, would have a lot of potential anti-vaxxers working there. That's all I'll say. All right. And the company is going to pay them a bonus to get the vaccine. Oh, my God. Wow. So, and, 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 Are they hiring? <laughs> so, but here's the thought I had. If, if you're an anti-vaxxer, you're not an anti-vaxxer. You just need an incentive, right? Is there any vaxxer that wouldn't... Uh, I'm betting, and bet, uh, betting anti-vaxxers play scratch and win a lot. Um, <laughs> if, is there anyone that wouldn't get the shot for 100 bucks? I mean, if you a, gave me $100 to not get it, I would do that also. Right. What if your $1,400 <laughs> check required a vaccine? Ah, good idea. I can just I mean, see the flames it. coming out of Dr. Seuss and Pepe the Pooh now. It would be crazy, right? How about if you had to contribute to the safety of America in order to get the stimulus? What would you think of that? Well, there was a thing going around, actually, similarly, that uh, said, if you see a homeless person, go up and give them a piece of paper that tells them how they can get the stimulus check. Oh. Um, and then there was a big hubba blue about... Well, they didn't deserve it because they didn't even contribute to the taxes that go to pay it or whatever. So, yes. <clears throat> similar lines. Um, I think that's a. I don't think that would ever work in terms of uh, legislation or or or. I mean, there. I don't know. I don't even know the arguments that people would make, but uh, I. I just we can't even pass anything. So you know. I love this optimism I'm hearing in the young people. Today. How <laughs> yeah, about you guys? Really, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> you bright side guy, yeah. you. This is great. When we were youthful, we had we marched in the streets. We had optimism. Yes. Yeah, because you didn't have uh, information, you know? That's right. I mean, it. none, true. <laughs> now we get to see our politicians lie to us to our face every day. And, it's on uh, video. This is an interesting... It's crazy. It's can a, can, the can Cuomo I, thing. Yeah, yeah sorry. Okay. Uh, well, you show. might have been about to tell a joke, but I wanted to ask you seriously. I do think that's a huge difference between young people today and young people in my generation is that young people today are, are part of the 24-minute news cycle. Young people today... Young people today... Know stuff. We didn't care. I mean, I literally... The news was something my parents sat down and watched at 6.30... I would have yep. no interest because Hogan's Heroes was on in the other room. <laughs> and, and watching Hogan's Heroes, I thought World War II sounded like a gas. Shut up. <laughs> well, that was World War One, I, I think. <laughs> no, it was World War II. It was, it, 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 well, did I mean, you ever, a, a you ever gas, see Hogan's Heroes, gas. by the way? I never, no, no, okay. sorry. I'm hold on, with it, but that, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> that went over everybody's head. But <laughs> the point, the point I'm making is, you guys, uh, for better or for worse, you're involved in the global conversation. Yep. And yes. That's unusual for you for you uh, people your age. You should be really busy making a career, working for the man, not knowing who the man is. Getting laid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And getting laid. Yeah. Yeah. Focus on this man. Uh, getting laid by the man. Um, <laughs> I can hear the gears turning. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, know. I got nothing. I mean, I it is great to have all the information at once, but uh, but then but now the problem we have is the misinformation. So, yeah, right. yeah. 